April Justine here with Design Your Exotics and today I'm going to go over what we use for mite treatment. This is something that our friend Stephen Katz has brought up and he has a great YouTube video on it. Um, but if you haven't seen that, I decided to make this video which is going to be the exact same information <laughs> and showing you how to do a mite treatment. Now mind you, I don't have mites in my collection right now, uh, but I have had it before. And I use, you know, the reptile sprays and the Prevenamide and all that kind of thing. And it just doesn't go away quickly. Um, but with this product that I use now, you really put it on the animals once and the mites don't come back. So what do I use? I use Frontline Spray. Can you see it? Okay. So you can get this um, on Amazon. You can get this at your vet. You might be able to get it at Petco or PetSmart. It's alcohol based, it is a spray, it is the topical spray for dogs and cats. This runs you, I, how many, this is 500 milliliters and I think this was about 40 to $60, but I have treated my whole collection two or three times when I had the issues previously and I think I'm like down to here and that's including like doing a big berm and a retic as well. Um, so it lasts, it goes like a really long way, you don't have to do a whole lot with it. Um, I'll show you on one of my animals, he's actually for sale, so if you guys want him, let me know. Uh, but I will show you on one of my carpets how to actually apply this. Uh, one thing you do not want to do is put it on baby snakes. We uh, accidentally, well, we did it and accidentally killed one of our baby snakes, so don't do that. It was a baby carpet python, don't do that. Um, so anything that's really small, I wouldn't put it on baby corn snakes. I would wait till they're maybe about a year old if you're gonna um, use it on corn snakes or any smaller colubrid or smaller snake. Um, excuse the noise, my cat is annoying. <laughs> so uh, don't put it on baby snakes. Also, do not, do not, do not use this to spray the enclosure. In fact, this product itself will penetrate into the skin of the animal. So if any mites bite that animal, they will die. So you don't actually really have to worry about doing a full spray down and chemically treat all of your enclosures. I would take out the old bedding that you use, put down paper towels so you can see if there's any mites there, but do not use this to spray over everything. If you wanna use Prevenamite, go ahead, but like I said, you really don't have to. Using this will do it. Um, so what you need, some gloves, you need the spray, and you need the animal. Uh, let me kick my cat out when I get the animal out, and then I'll go over the spray. Mind you, you're gonna hear her yelling at the door for me like you did just now. She will be persistent. You wanna say hello? Here she is. She loves coming in the snake room. She doesn't realize they can kill her. Stupid animal. All right. I got my gloves on, I'm ready to go, I'll get the animal out. What I'm going to do is spray some of this onto my hand, rub it all over the gloves, and then just rub it down the body of the snake. That's really all there is to it. You wanna stay away from their mouth, their nose area, as well as their eyes. I get a little bit on the top of their head uh, before it goes you know, into the snout shape of their head, um, and then just do their whole full body. So I get the top and the bottom of their body, and that has worked for me. Like I said before, I do this once, this application one time, and the mites do not come back. So it works amazingly for all of you that are struggling with mites, or uh, you know, keep having to do treatment after treatment. I've done up to like four treatments before with using other methods. This really works, one treatment, one and done, it's amazing. All right, let me get him out. So this is Jafar. So this is Jafar. He is a beautiful carpet python. You can see all his beauty in him. He is a boy, ready to breed, good to go. He is, woo, uh, het exanthic, oh geez. <laughs> he is a het exanthic um, caramel. So, uh, jazz obviously, so very cool. All right, so what I'm going to do, is this open? No, it's not open. All right, spray on my hand like that. I have nowhere to put this. Oop. Rub it like that. And then literally just rub your hands down. And you do not want to, this is alcohol based, so you do not want to put them back in their enclosure until it's all dried. All right, so it looks like I need a little bit more. Get away from your face, dude. Rub it. 
and then just go down the rest of his body. So that's really all you gotta do. He's being a spaz though. His jag is coming out a little bit. Ooh, there we go. So that's the most that he does um, as a jag. If you guys know um, jaguar carpet pythons, and you'll see I'll get a little bit of his head here. Jaguar carpet pythons have a neurological disorder. So they do some stargazing. Um, it shows up in some more than others. So this guy's pretty good. He has no trouble eating. Uh, the most is really what you saw is his erratic movement. Um, but legitimately, I just treated him for mites. <laughs> so as you guys can see, it's really fast. And then I'm just going to make sure that he's dry. You can see it's a little bit shiny. I also do a smell check. I know that's weird, but I want to make sure that that smell of alcohol isn't super strong. Okay, so it's still a little bit there. So I'm going to let him stay out for a little bit longer. Um, but that's it for treating mites. Literally it. So let me show you guys this again. Frontline spray, amazing stuff. You can get on Amazon, you can get it at your vet possibly, or Petco or PetSmart. Um, ask for it, you can call them ahead of time, see if they have it, they don't always have it. Um, that's all you have to do with my big berm. I actually do spray it directly on them, but I don't suggest that with um, smaller snakes. You really don't need to do that. Mostly because it is alcohol based, it is smelly, so you don't really wanna go crazy with it. And put it down, uh, but that's it. So if you have a lot of snakes, you can go through and do all of them. If you don't, cool. You just have one and done and you're good to go. Like I said, clean out the bedding, just take it all out, put paper down, paper towels, change out their water, and uh, yeah, you're good to go. Oh, one thing, like with preventamite, when you have their water bowl, as long as they are dry, the alcohol smell is off of them, you can keep the water bowl in there. If you want to be extra cautious, take the water bowls out and replace them the next day. Um, but we've had no problems with having the water stay in there. So there he is. Like I said, this guy is for sale. If you would like him, go ahead and uh, message me or Terrell will get you the information on him. Beautiful guy, great temperament. And uh, yeah, there you go. Mites free for everyone. Hooray. <laughs>